Hey, it's Ben here, and here in this video, we're going to have a look at the new slide revealers plugin from BrettFX. Now, I do have an accompanying video to this tutorial that shows you how to make your own slide revealers for free right inside Final Cut Pro without any paid for plugins. But if you're looking for a professional plugin that will allow you to do these very slick animated introductions and titles for your videos, then this video is going to be useful to you. So, we're going to jump into Final Cut Pro. So, the first thing we need to do here before we actually go in and use the slide revealers is add a video clip to our timeline. So I'm going to grab a video, we'll drop it down here, and then we're going to come to the titles and generators, and I have my slider revealers installed here. And we have a real nice range of different slider revealer animations. I'm going to just drop one right onto the timeline here so we can see how it works. So the way that we do this is we drop it above the clip that we have on our main timeline. So I'm just going to stretch my clip out a little bit here, so it fills the whole slider revealer, and we can come back to the beginning. Then after we play this through, we'll have a look at how we modify some of the settings for the slide revealer. So you can see we have this very slick animate in and animate out option. We obviously have all those customizable elements as well. So if we first of all place the playhead right in the middle of our clip here, you can see we have options to turn on or off our animate in and out. And we have options to modify our type so we can add any type that we want into here. So we'll just change this first title. So you can see we have some real nice easy to modify text there. Down the bottom, we have some different art elements as well. So we have a, a drop zone up here. We can change that to none. So we won't have any kind of graphic up there. But if we do want to kind of drop something into the drop zone, then we can add an image or graphic in there. So keeping my slider revealer selected on the timeline, and scroll down here again. We'll come to the drop zone, click on it once, and then I can hover over this image and that will drop it into there. So I can come down here and I can modify the, the scale of my drop zone to get it to fit in there nicely. I can also modify the outline width there for my drop zone and also the color of the outline of that drop zone as well. So we'll hit that apply clip. So let's play this through from the beginning. We've got our nice animation in here, our graphic at the top right with our modified outline, modified and easily modified type there, and then nice animation out and right back into your video. So super cool, super slick animation. Now there's a whole ton of different slide revealers in the BrettFX plugin, and essentially they all just sit over the top of any video that you have on the timeline. So that makes it really easy to add this nice slick graphic content without bumping clips to a different spot on your timeline. You can keep all your timing intact. So we'll just duplicate a clip here and have a look at a couple of others. So you can see we can duplicate a couple of clips here and very quickly add these animated title reveals. So again, just really easy to add these animations to your timeline. They just drop right on top of any other clip and include that video footage or edit that you have underneath it. And you can see here we have some different elements in the different animations, so for social media or for the beach. And if we have a look up in the inspector for this selected clip, then we scroll down, you can see we have for the social media one, this nice level of detail. We have Instagram, we have LinkedIn, we have Facebook, Snapchat, and a whole bunch of other different social media icons where you need to include those in your video edits. We have some nice options for modifying the animation, so changing the way that the animation comes on. So we have the animate in as flip X, and we can change that to slide right. We can change this to flip Y, and you can see now when we play that through, we change the, the flow and the timing of the animation nicely, and then we'll have the flip at the end. So again, just that nice level of detail. We have also options for modifying things like the color of our, our background. We can modify and tint our video in the background as well. So if we wanna have a bit more of a graphic look to our video, then we can modify that. We can also blur our video in the background as well. And that's all gonna be included in that build-in animation as well. So we've got our art options there for this particular social media animation. We can obviously modify all our text. We can change the color of our border at the bottom. So we have our arrow animating on there, we can change that. And then also we can change the end of our arrow as well. So on the animate in, we just bring this back where we can see the end of our arrow. 
we can modify that so it's beveled, so it's round, or so that it's a square. And again, just that nice level of detail in the line and where it's gonna be within the animation. So, so we can have the line, if we move ahead, we can have the line rough, we can have it just rough at the, the top, rough at the bottom, or just the line at the top, or just the line at the bottom. So again, lots of nice customizability there in the way that you're setting up these, these slide revealers. We also have this nice option of changing the curve for the slide revealer as well. So you can see even the masking of our graphics changes there. So perhaps we wanna show a bit more of the TikTok, which was being hidden before. We can increase the curve there and then also change the angle at which that curve is happening too. So we can modify these things really nicely in a variety of different ways. So let's come to the, the clip before. Again, you can see we've got our island time animation. We scroll down here, then you can see we've got these art options for this particular clip. So we've got the sun, um, we can have an art drop zone, um, or we can have none. So we're basically able to kind of add art in there. And this is where you would use like a graphic with transparency in your art drop zone. We'll keep this as the sun for the moment. And again, lots and lots of different options for the different drop zones, different backgrounds within our video. So we'll play this through back from the beginning. So you can just see we've got these real nice animations here, in and out, able to modify the different settings and customize them for whatever type of video we are creating in Final Cut Pro. Now, as I said at the beginning of the video, I've created a video that shows how to make a free version of the slide revealer. So please do go and take a look at that. But if you do have any questions about the Brett Effect slide revealers, or anything else in Final Cut Pro, then please do leave a comment below. Otherwise, I look forward to seeing you on the next video.